Hi, this is Robin Bremer. Please remember to subscribe wherever the button is uh, to my video on YouTube and um, on Facebook. Like it, share it with your friends. Today, I want to share with you about the rapture. A lot of churches are teaching that the rapture is about to happen in the, soon, within the next few years, and so on. But I've come to the conclusion that it's not. And let me explain something that the Lord showed to me. He said that the kingdom, the gospel of the kingdom would be preached to the ends of the world and then the end would come. Well, there's two things I want to point out. The gospel of the kingdom is not being preached right now. It is a little bit, but it's not like widespread. It's just like we're just getting a hold of this revelation. And the other thing is, if God took us out of the world now, or very soon, in the condition that the church is in now, Satan would have had the victory. Because right now the church is fearful, weak, wimpy. Um, they are not walking in power. We are the kids of God. They're not walking in love. It says the world would know us by our love. And look at us. There's people who claim to be Christians who are boycotting and creating all kinds of evil in this world because somebody was a homosexual or because someone fought in a war and they disagree with the war. I mean, it's horrible. That's not knowing you're a Christian by our love. The world will know that we're a Christian by our love for each other. Right now, we've got different denominations and non-denominations and all this stuff going on. So the world does not know us by our love. The world thinks we're hypocrites and crazy. But I believe that it's going to be time for us to be raptured out of here once the church stands up and begins to walk in the supernatural presence and power that we were created to walk in. The Bible says that I and the children, meaning Jesus, I and the children that you have given me were created for signs and wonders. And that is my dog Sparky who's really annoying. Would you like him? <laughs> Take him home. No, you can't have him, but he is annoying. But anyway, so the church is not in a place where we are walking in power or authority. We are walking in fear. We're ready to be raptured. We're afraid. And I want to encourage you to get into the Word, to get, to throw the TV out the window, to, to stop wasting your precious time watching TV and reading magazines. Instead, to spend time getting into God's supernatural presence and power and walking in that presence and that power so that you begin to practice His presence wherever you are, that you begin to have adventures in the Holy Spirit, adventures of heaven on earth, that you begin to be the one to heal the sick, cast out demons, cleanse the lepers, and raise the dead. And Jesus said that we would do greater works than this. And so um, I'm believing that we, that, that, that I'm called to teach you and help you and to share in my experiences in the supernatural to encourage you to walk in the supernatural presence of heaven on earth and the glory and the Holy Spirit and being led by the Holy Spirit and having a relationship with the Holy Spirit and I want to invite you to listen to my uh, videotapes and my books and so on that teach and share about this I feel more stronger than ever before that it is not time for the church to be raptured out of here it is time for the church to wake up to who they are in Christ, to walk in supernatural power, to walk in God's supernatural presence, and to have heavenly adventures every day. It should be like living on earth like it is in heaven. We should be experiencing and hearing the Holy Spirit. And I'm just really going to get down and teaching on this and sharing with you on this because I'm just so hungry to have uh, friends that are like faith. I mean, there is so so much fun to having a relationship with the Holy Spirit and experiencing the supernatural things of God. It is natural to be that way. And I want you to have that same excitement, that same joy, that same passion, that same love. And I want you to be able to take it into your business, into your ministry, into your community, into your church, and wake them up and into your home. God once said, once said to me, and not very long ago, within the last year, he said, if you want to make people hungry, you have to eat in front of them. 
And that's when I was complaining. I was saying, God, what's, what's wrong with these people? They don't raise their hands. They aren't worshiping you. They're just sitting here like this, listening to a song. Can't wait to get out of there. They don't know you. And he said, if you want them to get hungry, you have to eat in front of them. So in other words, that's why I dance. That's why I praise and worship. Not just that reason. That's why I share it with you. Because when I dance and I praise and worship God, it's because I love Him so much. I want you to experience that too. And you have to see other people doing it in order for you to get hungry to do it too. So if you have the gifts, the calling or the desire to dance, to praise, to worship, to dance, to run, to clap your hands, to scream, to shout, do it. Make other people hungry. Let them see your joy. Let them see your love. My name is RobinBremer.net is my website, and I will talk to you tomorrow. I want to encourage you to uh, sign up on my membership for $10 a month. I'm going to give you some extra special videos on how to take your business, like publishing a book or work on a blog, or if you're a ventriloquist or uh, puppets and stuff that I also am, I'm going to be teaching you clowning and stuff like that, tools, recording studios, and so on, and how to take your business out on the street and do stuff with it. So RobinBremer.net. Join my, um, what God calls my circle of fire. And we are going to take the Holy Spirit into our businesses, into our ministries, and into our communities, communities and into our church. So I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.